So, you've just started your railway career and you're not too hot on geography. Stay with us and we'll try and sort it all out for you. Let's begin by identifying exactly what you need to know. The railway is in the transportation business. That's to say we move people and freight from place to place. The whole enterprise is both vast and complex. But to make things easier, it's broken down into sectors, each one dealing with a different aspect of business. In the southern area, these sectors comprise Network Southeast, whose business is medium and short haul passenger trains, Intercity, whose business is long haul express trains and specialist fast services like the Gatwick Express, Regional Railways, whose business is cross country passenger services, and finally, the two branches of rail freight, full load and distribution. Now that you've come to work in the transportation business, it's essential that you learn the geography of the system and the different services it offers its customers. Historically, the British rail system has been divided into six regions, although these have now disappeared as organisations. In the north was ScotRail, encompassing all the lines in Scotland. From London, fanning out to the northwest, was the London Midland region. Again from London, this time fanning out to the northeast, was the Eastern Region. Connecting South Wales and the West Country with London was the Western Region. East Anglia was served by its own region, Anglia. Finally, the South of England was served by the Southern. Let's have a closer look at the Southern area. Geographically, it falls entirely within the network Southeast boundaries. And although it operates services for other business sectors, this sector accounts for the bulk of its traffic. The southern area is divided into three divisions of Network Southeast. The Southeastern, the South Central, and the Southwestern divisions. The Southeastern division has no less than four London terminus stations at Victoria, Charing Cross, Blackfriars, and Cannon Street, serving two main lines as well as a number of secondary lines and a complex suburban network. It provides passenger services to North Kent, the Medway Towns and the Kent Coast from Victoria, Charing Cross and Cannon Street. West Kent, the South Coast and the Channel Ports are also served from these three stations. Secondary lines also serve Maidstone, Canterbury, the Isle of Grain, Rye and Winchelsea. Southeastern Division suburban trains serve the whole of the southeast London area as far as Dartford, Swanley, Sevenoaks, Hayes and Addiscombe. Some southeastern services also comprise part of Thameslink, the cross-country link connecting towns and suburbs south of the Thames to Network Southeast's main line serving St Albans, Luton and Bedford. The South Central Division has a principal main line from London to Brighton, served by the terminus stations at Victoria and London Bridge. It has secondary main lines serving Gatwick, Horsham, Littlehampton, Bognor Regis and Portsmouth to the west, and serving Lewis, New Haven, Seaford, Eastbourne and Hastings to the east. The coastline from Hastings via Brighton and Hove to Portsmouth is also within this division as well as the secondary lines to East Grinstead and Uckfield. The suburban services of this division include the South London line connecting Victoria and London Bridge via Peckham and the lines to Crystal Palace, Beckenham Junction, Wimbledon, Mitcham, Sutton, Epsom Downs, Tattenham Corner and Caterham. Thameslink services connect Brighton and Purley to the Bedford line via Farringdon. 
The southwestern division is, geographically speaking, the largest. It has three principal main lines, the West of England line from Waterloo to Exeter, via Woking, Basingstoke, Salisbury and Yeovil. The Bournemouth and Weymouth line, via Eastley and Southampton, and the Reading line from Waterloo via Staines. Secondary main lines include the Portsmouth Direct, diverging from the West of England line at Woking, the Basingstoke to Reading line, the Aldershot and Alton line, and the cross-country routes connecting Portsmouth, Fareham, Eastley, Romsey and Salisbury, and Fareham, Southampton and Romsey. A short branch line from Brockenhurst connects Lymington, and the division also operates the self-contained Isle of Wight line. The southwestern suburban network serves west and southwest London, with lines to Hounslow, Windsor, Virginia Water, Chertsey, Ascot, Guildford, Shepperton, Hampton Court, Chessington, and Dorking. Finally, an east-west secondary line connects Reading and Guildford. Now that you've had a look at the basic geography of the southern area, let's see something of the actual train services. We begin with Network Southeast the area's biggest business sector. The fast mainline trains are called Network Express and each service is branded to give it a special identity. As an example, one of our most prestigious services is the one that serves Bournemouth, Poole and Weymouth, operated by the new air-conditioned Class 442 trains. This service is called the Wessex Electrics. Other examples of mainline branding include the West of England, the Sussex Coast, the Kent Coast, and of course the Cross London, Thameslink. We operate one of the world's most complex and intensive commuter train networks. To assist our customers in identifying each service, the trains carry route numbers, just like the buses. The newer generation of suburban trains, those with power operated doors, also carry destination information on the front end. Suburban services are also branded. The distinctive logos painted on the car sides assist our customers to identify their own trains. Naturally, as part of the entire London suburban system, our services have to integrate with those of Network South East in other areas, as well as with those of London Underground. Here, for example, at Richmond, where South Western Division trains provide interchange with the North London Line and the London Underground's District Line. Each of Southern's London terminus stations is connected by Underground to those of the other divisions of Network South East. For example, Thames Line services from Paddington. Northampton Line services from Euston. Anglia Electrics from Liverpool Street. These and other London terminus stations like King's Cross and St Pancras also provide interchange to long distance intercity trains. Although the southern area is dominated by the network southeast sector, other businesses have an important part to play. One of our big successes has been the operation of the now famous Gatwick Express for Intercity. The smart, air-conditioned trains, based at Stewart's Lane Intercity Depot, run every 15 minutes throughout the day. 
connecting London Victoria to Gatwick Airport non-stop. This service has provided travellers with one of the finest city centre to air terminal connections to be found anywhere in the world. We also operate other services for intercity, like the long haul trains connecting Brighton, Poole, and Dover to the Midlands, north of England, and Scotland. Because of our geographical situation, we operate relatively few services for regional railways. One notable exception, however, is the Portsmouth, Southampton, Salisbury, Bristol and South Wales corridor, operated by the latest generation of lightweight, fuel-efficient diesel multiple unit trains, known as Super Sprinters. One business sector whose services in the southern area are set for massive expansion is rail freight. Bulk commodities like fuel oils, coal and construction materials now move by rail in ever increasing volume. As trade with Britain's European partners grows, rail borne freight will play an increasingly important role in efficient and environmentally acceptable movement of merchandise. A relatively new development is our operation of privately owned trains, like those of the Foster Yeoman Company, or in this case, the luxury Venice Samplon Orient Express. The Southern has always been associated with continental travel, making connections with the European rail network via ferry and hovercraft from the ports of Dover, Folkestone, New Haven, Portsmouth and Southampton. While we expect this traffic to continue expansion into the 21st century, we have now entered a partnership with Eurotunnel and the French and Belgian National Railways to inaugurate the most exciting business venture of our long history. The Intercapital's high-speed service connecting London with Brussels and Paris via the Channel Tunnel. Revolutionary new electric trains will travel at speeds up to 180 miles per hour, affording centre-to-centre -centre journey times with which even the airlines can't compete. In the early stages of this new service, the high-speed trains will operate over the existing main lines of the southeastern division, from the tunnel to the new Waterloo International Station via Ashford and Tunbridge, or via Ashford and Maidstone. Eventually, however, a completely new high-speed line will be constructed permitting the intercapital strains to realise their full potential. This new high-speed line will also be used by a new generation of Network South East Express commuter trains, cutting journey times to London by more than half. Well, now you know quite a bit more about the geography, the services we provide, and our exciting plans for the future. Don't forget, you're in the transportation business now. Know your system and the services you sell. It's your stock in trade. <laughs>